Hey crew, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a returning OG. Today I'm bringing you guys some hair content. I'm going to be showing y'all how I installed this unit and how I got this bomb little style that's going on. Super duper easy to achieve. I want to give a huge shout out to Eunice for actually sending over your girl the unit to achieve this hairstyle. So if you guys want to know a little bit more information about this hair and if you guys want to see how your girl got this style, Y'all already know what to do. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel and join the crew if you are not already a crew member. Journey to 10K. We are coming. Um, I want to give you guys a huge shout out for all of my new supporters. You guys really mean the world to me. Um, I haven't posted in what, like a month? And the channel is still growing. My videos are still getting views. And I owe that all to you guys. So thank you so much for rocking with me. Make sure you guys follow me on my other socials. I do post on Instagram a lot. I'm always on TikTok. Lord. The whole that TikTok has over me. <laughs> I'm always on TikTok posting my little makeup looks and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, if you guys want to see a little bit, you know, of the behind the scenes. If you guys want to see more of your girl, go follow me on both of my socials, I will have those listed down in the description box below. Enough flabberjacking, let's get straight into the video. So voice over key on this thing. So let's get into what is inside of my Unice package. Once again, thank you Unice for sending over your girl this hair. So first thing you see is all my little goodies when you open up the box. I did receive a pair of lashes. So for all my extra girls, the lashes are for you. I also received a headband, two stocking wig caps for the install and then the actual hair so i did receive an 18 inch crimp deep deep wave 13 by 5 by 1 lace front wig this is like in a normal like natural black color this is what the inside of the unit looks like the hairline was actually really nice i did go in and pluck it just a little bit because it was giving really really skinny um so i needed to just be a little bit you know more natural looking so i did go and pluck just the middle part just a little bit um on the sides of the hair you have like one inch of parting space but like literally it's not even really parting space it's just like hairline um so yeah this is what the unit looks on me right now without any like you know gluing it down customizing the hairline is giving very much wiggy so here i am showing you guys that i did pluck it just a little bit y'all i didn't do nothing crazy literally i just i plucked like maybe 12 14 hairs <laughs> um so now i'm going in and i'm just spraying my wig cap that's on my head and also the part on my wig so that it can like you know match my skin tone and give you know skin a little bit more i did go in with my foundation brush and whatever product i had on my brush i was just rubbing that onto my wig cap just to kind of help it look a lot more natural because this beige wig cap is not what my bro scalp looks like and you know even though this is just like you know a one part wig i do want it to look natural like the part to look natural and baby it's it just that now getting into the install part of this video, I'm going to be installing this wig like if I was doing a closure wig. I'm not really going to focus on the size too much because there's only like one inch of parting space. Not even parting space, there's just one inch of hair right there. So uh, my main focus was just my forehead and making sure that the melt where the part is was good. So I went in with two layers of my black got to be gel and then I went in with my bed head hairspray and those are the products that I use to melt my hairline.
So after I got my forehead area laid, I went in to remove the lace off the unit and I used a razor for this so that it wasn't like super duper harsh and like I had like a line of demarcation but the lace still ended up looking super duper square because that's how this hairline was and also you guys my edges like on my hairline grows super duper low so you know that's why you guys see like my actual baby hairs poking out well not baby hairs but that's why you guys see my actual hair poking out but I'm gonna cover that with you know some baby hairs that I you know do on the unit but um as I was saying before my sides I really didn't want to go in with glue because I knew that I was going to be wearing this wig temporary so I just went in with my bed head hairspray and I just sprayed my sides down and then you know I put the little headband on there to kind of help it lay down and, and that worked out pretty fine for your girl um, so I did that to both sides. Now I had a footage of me, you know, cutting my baby hairs and actually like tweezing them a little bit, but don't know what happened to it. So boom, here we are. I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm just flattening out the top so that it doesn't look lumpy and bumpy. And I was actually really surprised that the hair stayed crimped and it stayed in this little like, you know, deep wave style that it came in. I feel like if you're a beginner and you want this hairstyle, this wig would be perfect for you because it gives you that crimp style like without you know having to actually sit there and crimp it so that's a huge plus um and I really really like that because I actually do enjoy you know wearing my hair crimped so shout out to you nice for actually creating this unit um I would say my one con about it though is the size the little parting space they might as well have made this a closure unit and not a lace front unit but it's okay it was easy to you know kind of lay it down so now moving on to these little baby hairs that I'm doing. I actually been seeing this little method of, you know, achieving your baby hairs, like making it easier to swoop them all over TikTok and Instagram. So basically you take your low flat iron and you curl them and then you go in and actually swoop it. And this is supposed to help them swoop a lot better. And honestly, I will say that it does make it a lot easier to swoop. Y'all, when I say I can do everybody else's baby hairs, but when it comes to doing my own, it is such a struggle. But doing this little method worked out perfectly fine for me. Um, and I loved how it turned out in the end. Y'all, this hair is actually super cute on me. Y'all, when I say I did not touch up any of the curls, like this is straight out of the box. And this is fire. Like, baby girl look good. Um, so make sure you guys check out my description box below if you guys want to shop this unit. Um, thank you so much for tuning in for today's upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, it was super cute, super quick and easy. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and join the crew. And yeah, that is it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mwah.